Holly Mosier, and I'm the author of Stress Less, Way Less. And today I'm going to teach you how to make blintz ricotta. And in my book, I call them Holly's Cheese Blintzes. Wait till you see how easy these are, and they are delicious. We start with two-thirds cup of low-fat ricotta. Now, I've already pre-measured it into this bowl, but just be sure that you get the low-fat ricotta as opposed to the whole milk ricotta or part skim. There's a big difference in calories and really no difference in taste. So anyway, go for that. We're going to use about a half teaspoon of cinnamon, a dash of vanilla, two packages of a zero calorie or low calorie sweetener. That's basically it. Oh, and the crepes. We're gonna be using two crepes. You wanna preheat your oven to 350 degrees. Put your two thirds cup of ricotta in the bowl. Next. We're just gonna add our half teaspoon of cinnamon. As you can see, I just eyeball it, but you can measure it out. A dash of vanilla and our sweetener. Make sure all the sweetener comes out. Sometimes I forget and I leave some in there. If you like them sweet like I do, make sure you get it. All right, so now we're just gonna stir this up until it is really well blended. Okay, we are good to go. Now next, you want a cooking sheet. I just put foil on mine, but you wanna spray it with some cooking oil. And now we're gonna load up the blintzes. Now, if you've never worked with crepes before, you're gonna see they're very thin and sometimes they break. If they break, we're just gonna keep going because it's gonna taste really good no matter what, but let's see if we get lucky here. So take half the mixture, put it in the middle of the first crepe and spread it out so it's a little bit flat. You don't want a big lump in the middle. Now we're gonna fold this like a burrito. So fold the edges in, flip the top over, and there we go. Now we'll do the second one. We're gonna take the remaining ricotta mix. Spread it out in the middle of the crepe. Oh, these are gonna be good. Flip the sides in again, flip the top over, and roll it like a burrito. There we go. Now, as an option, you can use some pumpkin pie spice on the top, which I really like. Makes the house smell really good when these are cooking. And we are ready to go. Now I'm gonna put these in the oven at 350 for about 10 minutes. I just want them to be nicely browned on the top. All right, we're gonna check and see if these are brown enough. And they are, these are perfect. Makes me happy just to look at them. Okay, ideally you'd let them sit for about a minute before you put them on your plate, but I'm gonna go ahead and do this now. Now the reason you wait is there's less chance they're gonna break. Ah, but that came out in one piece. And let's try the second one. Perfect. And there you have it, Blintz Ricotta. These are 270 calories, super filling, and if you like sweets, it's a great way to start your day.